the Masters Roundtable tonight, amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, we're in the middle of COVID, uh, all over, amen. But we're in the house of God, amen. In this house, we're going to serve the Lord. Can I get an amen? amen. Send a shout out to the, to the new seed, amen. We're still doing it like we should. We're praising God. We ain't giving the devil no glory. Amen. The, the, um, the wise man says, stop giving glory to the devil because the devil done been defeated. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. He's been put to death. We got to give God more glory. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. So we're going to be at, uh, we're going to be in chapter 15, verse 1. Léalo, hermano, número uno. Dice así. Así que, lo que somos fuertes debemos soportar la flaqueza de los débiles. En vez de hacerlo, que nos haga. Ay, papá. Hold right there. Amen. My God. Hallelujah. Y'all hear that? We. Now it's saying, it didn't say I. Come on, somebody. Yeah, it says we who are strong are to bear with the fair fallings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Oh, Can I get an amen? Amen. We, we then that are strong are to bear the <laughs> infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. My God. Why should the strong give in to the conscience of the weak. The way of love demands. Amen. It, it demands it. Amen. The strong believer does not forsake his conscience. By abstaining from their certain of his freedoms. But the weaker believer would have to violate his. In order to accommodate to li liberties of the strong. Now let me break that down. Amen. And I'm going to get you crazy. Amen. I know that somebody's right. But I'm going to give you what God's given me. Amen. Somebody's writing this, this breakdown, this commentary. But what is God telling us? What is he telling us? We who are strong ought to what? Bear the mm -hmm. fallings of the weak. What are the fallings? The infirmities. What are infirmities? Their struggles. Come on, talk to them, brother. Their, their weaknesses. Come on, talk to them. Their burdens. Amen. Taking out, we gotta, we gotta learn how to, they got to learn how to take on the burdens. Of the, of the what? It of, says. Of the, of the weak. Of the weak. You see what he's saying? Look what he's saying. He's saying, when when then that are strong, we them that are strong are to bear. Bear means we got to we got to carry it. I mean, we got right. we, we got to bear it. We, right. You know, some of us we don't like to bear somebody else's infirmity. He we got not just leave him alone. Let he can deal with it. Mm. Come on, somebody. <laughs> but the Bible is telling us that we are to bear the infirmities of the weak. Why? Because they're not there yet. Oh, y'all don't hear me tonight. Why? ¿Por qué? Porque ellos, lo, ellos están débil todavía. Por eso dice que nosotros que estamos fuertes debemos de cargar los, 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 los pecados donde están débil. Todo lo que es malo ellos no, tenemos no. que cargarlo para ellos y ayudarlos. Sí, señores. Porque no es, it's not for ourselves. We got, to, we got to stop looking at me. God has put us here to help these new brothers that come in the house. Amen. Come on, somebody. Can I get an amen? Amen. We who are strong are to bear with the fallings, failings, I'm sorry, of the weak and not to please ourselves. The failings. How many times do we fail? How many failings? It's with an S. My God, he didn't say with, with what he failed. Look, look what he's saying. He said with infirmities. Hey, my God. That means the weak are going to fail over and over and over. My God, I'm talking to somebody. Dice que tenemos que cargarlos en todo el tiempo que se recaen. Pero dice que se van a recaer más de una vez. ¿Por qué? Porque están débiles. Mm -hmm. They're weak. That's who we are. That's why God <coughs> says, move out the way. He said, look, he says, and not to what? Please yes, ourselves. Yes. Amen. We, it's not about pleasing ourselves no more. Uh, he's talking to us that are strong. He come on, somebody. Amen. He ain't talking to the ones that are weak. You you can't help somebody if you're weak. Yeah. Tú no puedes ayudar a alguien si tú estás débil. Mm -hmm. Él está hablando a, con nosotros y que están fuertes. Que ya no es normal para que tú te estás hablando. Mira, yo estoy fuerte y es para mí lo más. Okay. He's not saying just to the strong, just help yourself. Exactly. Mm -hmm. He's saying you that are strong. Help the ones that are fainting, los que están recayendo. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Leia número dos. Dice así: Cada uno de nosotros debe agradar a su prójimo en lo que es bueno, con el fin de edificarlo. 
Amen. Each of us should please his neighbor for his good to build him up. Talk to me, preacher. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. We were talking about that before I even went into the Word. You see how the Holy Spirit is working? And mm -hmm. in, in King James, he said, for edification, quiere decir para estudio, para, para ayudarlos a, a... Son como estudiantes. Can I get an amen? amen. It says, well, look what it says. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. They need to be school, brother. That's what he's telling us. Tienen que ir a, tenemos que llevarlos a la escuela. Mira, no, ni ha leído y estamos, estamos hablando de eso como son los maestros en, en estudios, en, en colegio. ¿Qué están, están haciendo? Te están ayudando. Te están entrenando. This is what this word is telling us. Didn't even read it. Fíjate. Man, this Holy Ghost is powerful, brother. Amen. amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen? Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good. ¿Por qué? Porque él necesita bueno, cosas buenas. He needs, it's for his good, because he's the one that's failing. My God, come on somebody. Amen. Amen. That's why he says, let us please him. Because why? Because he needs something good in his life. Mm -hmm. Can I get an amen? amen. He, needs, he needs edification yes, to sir. help him stop failing. My God, y'all don't hear me tonight. Mm -hmm. Am I right, Brother Matt? Amen. Where do you go today? What class do you go today? Amen. Did it help you? It does help. Amen. You, you see, you see, he's got to still stay in class to be edified on something to help him. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. This is what this word is telling us tonight. For even Christ pleased not himself, but it is written, the reproaches of them that reproached thee fell on me. Mm. Mm. Can I get an amen? Amen. For even Christ did not please himself, but it is written, the insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. For everything that was written, lea número tres, hermano. Dice así, porque ni a un Cristo se agradó a sí mismo, sino que, como está escrito, las ofensas de los que lo insultaban cayeron sobre mí. Amen. Number four, lea número cuatro. Las cosas que se escribieron antes se escribieron para nuestras enseñanzas. Oh my God. Oh, 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 right there. Hang on right there, my God. Mm. Mm. My Lord. Mm. Y'all, y'all hear that? He ain't finished the sentence yet, but I got to stop him right there. Amen. Listen to what it's saying. Listen, listen to what it's saying. For everything that was written in the past was written to what? Learn. To teach us. We were just talking about that before we even got started. My God, can I get an amen? amen? Listen now, for everything that was written, man, we just said that earlier, every scripture was written, why? Because there's a purpose for every scripture. Amen. Todo lo que estaba escrito en el pasado estaba escrito para enseñarlos a nosotros, dice la palabra. Look what it says now, for everything that was written in the past was written, what? To teach us. So that through endurance and the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. Leo, siga leyendo el número cuatro. Dice, las cosas que se escribieron antes se escribieron para nuestras enseñanzas, a fin de que tengamos esperanza por medio de la paciencia y la consolación de las escrituras. Amen. Amen. Listen to that. So what is he telling us that we, so that through endurance, you got to endure, amen? You, you got to go through some stuff, amen? Come on, somebody. Amen. And the encouragement of the scripture. So man, look at this. We were just talking about that. What is it saying to us? We got to endure the word because the scriptures encourage us so that we may have hope on what the word is telling us. My God, amen. I'm talking to somebody. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. My God, I should. I'm not going to use that in the church. Hoy lo que dice la palabra. Tenemos que sufrir un poco porque las escrituras trae encouragement. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Why? Para tener, ¿cómo se dice hope en español? Esperanza. Esperanza. ¿Por qué? Porque la escritura te está diciendo, mira, ¿sabes qué? Si tú 
sigues como vas. Te va, vas a pelear, vas a luchar, pero las escrituras te va a traer lo que tú estás, lo que tú estás pidiendo, lo que está enseñando las escrituras. Come on, preach. Make a preacher out of that man. Número 5. Come on, somebody. Number 5. Que el Dios de la paciencia y de la consolación les conceda a ustedes un mismo sentir según Cristo Jesús. Sígalo. Para que todos juntos y a una sola voz glorifiquen al Dios y Padre de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Amen. Amen. May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you what? A spirit of unity among yourselves as you follow Christ Jesus so that with one heart and one mouth you may glorify the God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ. My God, the old, the old man just said that, amen. He said, stop glorifying the devil y dale gloria al Señor porque él es que te está, está siguiendo a su, su, Jesús Cristo, my God. Come on, somebody. Yeah, huh? Lay, léalo otra vez para que oigan, por favor. Número 5 y 6. Que el Dios de la paciencia y de la consolación les conceda a ustedes un mismo sentir, según Cristo Jesús, para que todos juntos y a una sola voz glorifiquen a Dios y Padre nuestro, Señor Jesucristo. Huh? Amen. 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 We got to glory. We got to understand. God has given us the encouragement and the endurance. Amen. He gives you a what? A spirit of unity. Te da un espíritu de uno que que somos juntos among yourselves. Amen. As you follow Christ Jesus. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. So that with with one heart, con un corazón y una boca. Puedes glorificar al, al, al Señor, el Padre of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. ¿Eh? Dice, nosotros todos tenemos que estar juntos con un corazón. And have gracia. one mouth to glorify God. Dale gracias a nuestro Maestro, que es la palabra de la Escritura, que nos enseña. Amen. amen. Can I get an amen? amen. My God, help me, Holy Ghost. Y <laughs> what look number seven, ley número siete. Dice, por tanto, recibanse unos a otros como también Cristo nos recibió para la gloria de Dios. Ay, papá. Talk to me, Martín. ¿Qué dice la palabra? Listen to this now. Help me, Holy Ghost. Accept one another. Wow. Acéptense unos con otros. Huh? Mm -hmm. What is he telling us? You see, you see, at the beginning he was saying that we got to edify somebody for their good because they're failing. So he's telling us, accept one another. But we don't accept one another. That's why we can't help one another. We can't edify somebody because we can't accept one another. My God, I'm talking to somebody. Help me, Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Accept one another then just as Christ accepted you mm -hmm. in order to bring what? Praise to God. Tenemos que aceptar uno de los hermanos como Dios aceptó a ti para poder darle gloria al Señor. Can I get an amen? Amen. My God, help me, Holy Ghost. Leia número 8. Let's, lay, let's just keep reading. Pues les digo que Cristo Jesús vino a ser siervo de los judíos para mostrar la verdad de Dios, para confirmar las promesas hechas a nuestros antepasados. Amen. Número 9. Y para que los que no son judíos glorifiquen a Dios por su misericordia, como está escrito. Por tanto, yo les confesaré entre las naciones y cantaré salmos a tu nombre. Well, all right there, all right there. We're going, we're going to listen, listen to this now. He says, For I tell you that Christ has become a servant of the Jews on behalf of God's truth. Amen? Mm -hmm. To confirm what the promises made to the patriarchs, number nine, so that the Gentiles may glorify God for his mercy as it is written. Amen. Who were the Gentiles? The Gentiles are the one that nobody wanted. Los Gentiles eran los que no querían nadie, nadie, nadie lo aceptaron a ellos. Pero dice, Dios hizo, él, 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 él vino a ser un servente. He came to be a servant. Why? Not just to the Jews, but also so the Gentiles can give God glory. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. That they may glorify God for his mercy as is written. Is it another way of saying the general public? Amen. The, the Gentiles were the ones that they, they didn't, the Jews thought they were just the, the, 
Right. The scum, the dogs they call them, amen? But God 